Hey everybody, welcome back to DM Pains. If you're new here, my name is Dea and I hope that this channel serves to inspire you to unlock your creative potential. In this video, we're gonna be revisiting coasters. So this is the Coasters 2021 with some updated styles. Now I'm gonna be going over three different ways that you can use alcohol ink on your coasters. So make sure to stick around to check out each technique. Okay, so once you have removed all of the backings, it is now time to ink. So make sure you get your isopropyl alcohol as well as your favorite ink. So I am actually going in with the Copic ink refills today. I'm gonna be using two different shades of gray, but for this first demo, I'm just going in with one. And I honestly must say, I absolutely love these new Copic ink refills. The precision tip is amazing. And I do believe that it is designed for alcohol ink artists. I'm just going to be going in with my isopropyl alcohol here. Just appreciating the flow of the inks. It's just so beautiful when you see this close up and just how much they move in real time. So the first technique that I am implementing here is blowing back and forth consistently to create this ripple effect. So the reason that I started doing this technique was actually because I created an artwork that was very similar and I wanted to replicate this on coasters. Feel free to soften up your edges and add in more alcohol to reactivate the inks if you're not happy with the placement of the inks in a certain section of your artwork or of your coaster. So I am just repeating, blowing back and forth, basically until it is all dry. I'm just going in with my Revlon hot airbrush here and making circles to dry the coaster back and forth. You don't want to push in one direction too much because you don't want to blow your inks over. All right, so here for the second technique, I am just using Rich Gold by Pinata. So this is Jacquard Alcohol Ink. I just absolutely love metallics. I normally use brass, but I'm actually gonna go in with Rich Gold for this one. It is so beautiful just to have the Rich Gold on the coaster without any other colors. Notice that this time around, I lay down my alcohol before the color, and that is just to give the gold a little bit more mobility because it does settle a lot faster than inks because it is a mixative and it works a little bit differently than alcohol inks. If you're interested in any of the products that I'm using, I just have to mention, as I do in a lot of my videos, that all of my products are linked down in the description bar below, so you can find exactly what I am using. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. All right, so the third one that I'm gonna be doing is a mix of the Copic inks as well as the Rich Gold. So another technique that I do is adding one or two colors as well as a metallic for accent. And this is really popular amongst my coaster orders. This time I'm going to be going in with a lighter gray. So here are the Copic inks. And normally when I add a metallic, I tend to go in with my inks first and then add the metallic as the accent.
if you're not looking to use a really yellow tint in terms of metallics i definitely recommend looking into brass by pinata this is by far my favorite metallic to use Just notice how the metallic is bunching together. You can definitely try to blow it out or add more alcohol to be able to separate it. So these are the three different styles that I am going for today. The next step is to just repeat it on a ton more coasters to be able to create my sets. My tip if you are selling coasters and you are working in sets, put those coasters together. So for example, if you are making a set of two or four or six, put all those coasters together. The benefit of working with the hexagon coasters is that they fit so perfectly together. This is gonna save you a lot of time and it is super efficient when you are making custom orders. Another tip is if you want your colors to come out more potent, just add more alcohol ink and it is definitely gonna turn out darker, more alcohol ink and less actual isopropyl alcohol. All right, so here we have it, the final products. These are my 2021 coasters. We have the Ripple Gray as well as the 24K. Which one did you like better? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you're interested on figuring out how to apply these backings as well as fixing up the sides and applying the resin, I definitely recommend that you go check out my last coaster video. It has a full explanation on that and you can also find everything you need link down in the description bar below and if you're looking to place a custom order i'm at underscore dmpains on instagram and i'll see you next week bye